Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to have some gameplay playing in the background, some good old Bloodborne stuff. Don't worry, I know that you guys see the watermark and you're probably like, oh TCD, did you take someone's content? Nah, it's, it's my own. I'm just uh, recording because I needed to get this video out quick and, well, I couldn't really think of what I wanted to play so I'll just put on some Bloodborne and whatnot just in case if some people didn't see and they can just watch some boss fights and stuff. Okay, but what I wanted to talk about today was... um. It feels repetitive because I know I just did a video on this not too long ago, but it's about why I personally just feel like I just don't really care about consoles anymore. Because, you know, like, I'm not going to lie. When I see a whole bunch of these people making this, these videos about, like, consoles and whatnot, I, I really just have I have to wonder, like, you know, what is what is their deal? Because they're sitting here and they're literally starting drama youtube drama because someone likes a console or doesn't like a console that they like you know you've got grown men literally forty in their forties man in their forties literally having pretty much youtube drama over consoles and which console they're playing on not to mention like when i made the video about people are still arguing over consoles and pcs in twenty twenty tell me how like listen let me just say this. I, I just want to say this. I'm not attacking this person. I'm going to leave them unnamed. I banned them in all honesty. But I'm, I'm just going to share this with you because I couldn't believe that this was real. So, you know the stereotypical image that you see like when you hear someone like, oh, that person is just obese and living in their mom's basement or something? You know that stereotypical image? Well, apparently it's actually true sometimes. I, I always just thought it was a joke and whatnot, like the whole living in your mom's basement and like being, you know, overweight or something. But listen here, man. So I get someone in my YouTube comments, right? And when I made that video, they're talking about how much of a moron you are if you want to get the Xbox or you want to play on anything that's on a PlayStation, right? And so he, I, I, I was hearing him out because at first I was just trying to, you know, like, I'm willing to hear this guy out and whatnot. And I'm just trying to say, like, well, why do you really care what people play their console on? And he's just flipping his he's just losing his mind talking about how much of an idiot you are for not playing. And he's like, and he starts dropping all these, like, vulgarities at me and starts attacking anyone who doesn't agree with him in the comment section and I was like you know what let me just ban this idiot like if he wants to be a 12 year old then he can be a 12 year old and you know just to entertain the guy I go to his YouTube channel where of course he's playing Fortnite you know cuz <laughs> gotta play that Fortnite and aside from being an absolutely terrible player at that game it within the very first <laughs> listen to me listen to me man Within the very first, like, minute of him, like, ha starting up the video saying hello and everything, this guy is huffing and puffing, he's out of breath, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, please don't tell me that stereotypical image is true, I can't believe it. The guy was out of breath, you could probably hear, like, the arteries just clogged with all the Doritos and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I don't make fun of people but when someone is over here attacking you in the comments and you can go to their youtube channel and literally hear that they are likely morbidly obese <laughs> and they've got like arteries clogged and stuff that that's a problem that's that's all i'm saying because he's trying to act like he's this big and bad person and how much of an idiot you are because you don't like a game well you don't like a console that he likes and whatnot or you just want to use something different than him and he's over here attacking you personally and saying some terrible crap and then you go to his channel and he sounds like that. But getting aside from that, let me get to the point. The reasons why I personally don't really care about consoles anymore. Main reason right now is consoles, the main reason why you'd want a console is that it's cheaper than a PC. Okay, like consoles were cheaper to make than PCs and whatnot. You didn't have to worry about building them and upgrading them and whatnot. But now, it's just, it's getting to the point where it's like, you know, what, what's the real point of getting a console if it's going to be more expensive? Oh, how is house OTCD? Well, let me explain. Think about it this way. Apparently, games these days are becoming seasonal. They, they're they doing that because it's, it's more monet, uh, it's easier to monetize, excuse me. So they get more money by going seasonal. So not only do you have to worry about that, you also have to worry about paying the freaking pay-to-play online crap that consoles have, which is absolutely retarded to this day, and to me, needs to be, uh, it really should have been, excuse me, addressed a long time ago, because if you're paying an internet company, why, why are you paying the console company? Now someone's like, oh, you pay for the games, and like I said in a previous video, you don't own them, so <laughs> if you pay for them, you should at least own them, but if you don't have, you know, BS Plus for that month, or Xbox Live for that month, 
well, screw you, you don't own them, you know? So I don't really see why I'd be doing that. And not only that, but they're trying to, like, take the whole streaming route as well. So we're like, oh, you have to pay for a monthly subscription to stream some of these games. Some of these games that you always wanted to play on PS4, well, screw remastering them. Or screw just you owning them and whatnot, and you can just backwards compatibility or something. Well, the only way you'll get it is if you stream. And so what do I get you to do now? Well, you'll pay another maybe $10, $20 for a, you know, PS Now, or I don't know what Xbox Live is calling it, maybe Microsoft Live, or I, I don't know, you know. And I'm just like, you know, that's really stupid considering on a PC I could likely probably get a port. Like, if it's never really had a genuine PC PC remake or something, I could just get a port. So it, it's just cheaper to do and whatnot. And not only that, but this is, this is, the, this is one of the really big things. If, if all of this crap is just becoming about money... You know what I mean? And it's just about, oh, who's who's going to be relatively cheaper than the other side? Then it doesn't really make a lot of sense to get a console in the sense of, okay, this console is relatively less expensive on the immediate price. But at the end of the day, they're still more expensive than a PC because, well, let me tell you something. If you do the calculations right now about the monthly stuff that you need to pay for, say, gaming stream, for, like, the gaming streaming and whatnot, and the actual like yearly stuff that you need to pay for the stupid pay to play online you know when you really start calculating that compared to a PC where you could get games cheaper and you just pay for the internet company there's not really a lot of redeeming qualities that I can find personally and why I would go with that I could literally just buy a PC or a pre-built one and just stick with that and you know some people try to say oh well you, the really good ones you can't get you can't get the ray trace you, 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 you know I don't give a crap about graphics. I don't care what anyone says. Like, I've heard some really solid arguments about it, but I don't need one that's literally, like, you know, thousand frames a second and billion FPS. I just need one that works well, you know? I don't... I'm not this, like, crazy person about graphics and whatnot. Like, look at the game you see right on screen. Bloodborne is barely able to handle 30 frames a second, yet it's still a great game. You know what I mean? I don't really give a crap about graphics that much. I just need a PC that works, you know? So when I hear all these arguments talking about, oh, well, TCD, you need to you, you need to just think about it this way because you can't actually pay pay for a uh, good PC with ray tracing. I don't give a crap about ray tracing if you want me to be blunt. I, don't, I could care less about ray tracing and all that. I just need a PC that works. Okay, I, I just need a computer that works. That's all I need. And to be honest, I could easily get that at this point. In 2020, no problem. Yeah, I may not be able to get one for, like, ray tracing and whatnot, but I could easily get that, no problem. So I know that this was kind of quick and out of nowhere, but it's just like a kind of a rant getting it off my chest because I'm really sick of the whole console argument. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments below. Feel free to check out my Amino linked in the, in the uh, comments as well as my bitch. You linked in the bottom page of my channel, and I will see you all next time. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.